I would say this, though, that we see the trade and we see kind of the competition that's been going on. What is this now new culture? You mentioned a little bit Adam Peters, the new general manager, Dan Quinn, new head coach, formerly defensive coordinator uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. But how is this camp, this preseason, been different than maybe what Ron Rivera had done in the previous seasons? Yeah, so I think there's a couple things. Like in terms of like the day-to-day process, I, to right. me it's been much more efficient. The, they, they have found ways to, throughout the limited time they have each day, to really get these guys maximum reps. They're constantly shifting from one uh, one drill, one, one side of the field to another. Whereas in the past, it felt like maybe, I'm not saying they were being lacked a days ago, but the, the urgency – didn't seem to be there um, on defense with their new defensive coordinator, Joe Witt Jr., who came over with Quinn from Dallas. Right. Uh, he is a uh, he, he, he's a he's a really uh, up tempo coach. We can say he's he, he wants his guys to talk. He's going to talk and he, they want these guys to run around and, and, you know, be aggressive out there on defense. Again, so much of this sounds cliche, but this has not been something that's been the, the, the norm here. And so. Uh, the comp, the notion of competition. By the way, look at the players that they brought in this offseason. Mm-hmm. Of all their draft picks, basically all but one was a team captain in college, which means just that there's a certain leadership component that these guys bring that was recognized at the at the college level. They brought in free agents. They didn't spend big really on almost anybody, but they brought in guys like Bobby Wagner, future Hall of Famer, on a one year deal. They brought in Austin Eckler, who's got a chip on his shoulder after a down year. With the Chargers, Zach Ertz, sure, maybe he's he's you know on the back nine of his career, but he's been a Pro Bowl player on really good teams, and he has the the, the attitude to, to what it takes. They bring guys like that in, combined with these new pieces, Jaden Daniels included, and this is the combination where you take the you know you take the guys just coming in, pair them with the been there, done that vet to do things the supposed right way, and now all of a sudden you start building your attitude. And your and your tone. And by the way, let me just say, you know, even though last year the ownership, the franchise sale occurred right before the season started, right. it wasn't until this season that it really felt different. And to remove the cloud of the Dan Snyder era and at the end of the Ronda Rivera part, to remove that, it really is legitimately sunny here. The, it's, there's no more <laughs> cap ceiling. It feels like anything to sound like Kevin Garnett, anything is possible. Right. Again, maybe not this year, but going forward. I think that's what they're all aiming at. And I think that's given them new life, new attitude, new energy, and, you know, this competitiveness. Yeah, I think it goes back to how I, how we talked about it to start. They've kind of been under the radar a little bit. There is the, you know, the conversation is not about what's going on in the uh, front office or on the outside. The conversation now is they got a starting quarterback in Jaden Daniels. And now you look at the Dallas Cowboys, you look at the Philadelphia Eagles, which is, again, that's kind of funny. You trade within division, right? But, hey, that, that's the new NFL we're in because that before was forbidden. You can't trade in a division, and now it's right. like the norm. But you think about the teams now in this NFC East. Cowboys and Eagles have won the division in the last couple of years, but here comes the commander's new head coach, obviously new general manager, now new quarterback. What is the true life, ex, I mean, the expectation for this football team? Is this a team that's right there that can knock on the door of the playoffs? Or what do you want to see in year one of this regime? First of all, it's amazing mm. that of the four teams in the division, the only one who's not dealing with controversy is this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Philadelphia's got the Jalen Hurts, Nick Sirianni, Dallas, right. you know, their main players are all wanting new money. The Giants – or the Giants. Uh, <laughs> That's a great way to so, put it. <laughs> great yeah, way to so, put it. so th- there again, there's a lot of positive here. To me, you know, look, I, I, if 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 we're talking wins and losses, sure, getting nine wins or so would be a big step forward. I think realistically, though, can this team be competitive game in and game out? I, I had somebody mention to me earlier the Arizona Cardinals last year, and right. I know the Cardinals didn't win a ton of games, but as the season progressed. They were they were competitive. They were right. they were making their opponents not just walk in the building and you know say we got this. They had to to earn it. And I think that's what you want to see from Washington. Plus Jaden Daniels, he doesn't have to be C.J. Stroud, okay? But if he can show that he is the guy, that there's a real that this is all the hype is real. Seems like it's heading that way. Then next year on his second year of his rookie deal, Adam Peters can go aggressive in free agency in trades. And now you take advantage of that. So I just think they need to make those strides forward. And again, this is why 
they're working on the baseline of their attitude, their competitiveness, rather than saying, let's go get, you know, trade for Brandon. I hopefully that doesn't happen in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like they're not making <laughs> the be. flashy moves yeah. that, that I know so many people want because they are, understand there's a bigger picture involved here and they're waiting to build on that. And I think that to me is what the expectation would be competitiveness and Jaden Daniels showing he belongs. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.